पापा बोलो मामा बहुत लकी है आपको तो सब कुछ बनाना आता है वो तो है पर पापा अगर लड़के वाले मुझे देखने आए तो तो क्या मुझे तो एक कप चाय भी ठीक से बनानी नहीं आती <laughs> एक काम करते हैं चाय से शुरुआत करते हैं <laughs> मेरा एक छोटा सा राज है ताजे दूध से बना रेनबो इवेपोरेटेड मिल्क इसका रिच और क्रीमी टेस्ट चाय में जान डाल दे भाई तो लड़का कौन है किसी दिन चाय पे बुलाऊंगी रेनबो इवेपोरेटेड मिल्क चाय का परफेक्ट मैच रेनबो टॉप गन सीजन टू Hello and welcome to Top Guns. I'm your host Shane Phillips, and I'm here in the Rainbow Room, getting ready to meet today's Top Gun. She was the lone Indian female doctor when she came to the United Arab Emirates almost half a century ago. Today, she's viewed as one of the pillars of the healthcare sector in the GCC. She is none other than Dr. Zulika Daud. presented by Nokia powered by Audi Dr Zuleika to me is the epitome of womanhood very caring very motherly at the same time a woman of the greatest conviction greatest focus in life and i think she never says no to anything i've never seen her worried about anything When I came into this country I was a fledgling I was a great star in my own country but when you go outside you have no knowledge of the world that exists there maybe the language the culture or anything that goes along with this part of the world and she took me under her wings gave me the language of smile when you see her smile you realize that that is a language for a doctor it is the language and the caring and the compassion which has to come through to the patient and I learned that that language works anywhere in the world the story of a doctor and her commitment to healing she arrived here in the 1960s when there weren't even roads today she has been voted one of the most powerful indian women in the middle east join me in welcoming dr zulika daud to top guns dr zulika welcome to top guns it's such a pleasure to have you on the show of someone of your standing you're running hospitals now across the country so you're one of the best known doctors actually in the united arab emirates today As a little girl did you ever dream that all of this would be possible? To to be true I never dreamt that I'll be a doctor. Not even a doctor. Yes. Wow. I come from a very orthodox family. You see but my parents they had a vision and they sent us to the schools right schools where we could pursue our education in English and whatever was the best available what did your parents do for a living uh, my father was a businessman he was building contractor and he started working when he was 8 years old the work ethic runs through the blood and what did your mother do my mother was a housewife hmm. but she moved amongst the people who were educated because she did not go to school she said no you must get education and that to English education and you're one of five children yes and i understand that the family is i all either doctors or engineers yes each one of us and that is because of parents interesting and how did you meet your husband uh, my husband is related to me he is my father's cousin's son and he also went to medical school so my parents thought a doctor will be a good suitable person suitable boy for myself while we were in the last year of our intermediate college we got engaged and we both started our medical studies my wife started in nagpur medical college and i went to christian medical college ludhiana both of us graduated nearly the same time and i went for my postgraduate studies to aligarh and london and my wife in hyderabad marriage for most women in those days was the end of any chance at a career 
How did marriage shape your career? Yes, because my husband got a contract in Kuwait to work in Mission Hospital. So when he said that my wife is a doctor, so they said we want her also. This was 1964? Four. So better wages, most developed most area Most developed golf. area, everything was available. And uh, when we got a job, everybody thought that we are very lucky. And we worked hard, but then when after my marriage, I got pregnant. And when... In Kuwait? In Kuwait. So before I went, I was pregnant. Right. So I worked there very hard. There was no female doctor in Mission Hospital. So I had to do everything there. So that's a lot of pressure. You're the only female doctor. You're tr trying to prove yourself in your first year. Uh, learning and Arabic. And you were learning Arabic uh, yes, at the time? Yes, we had classes. So then they, did, they didn't want to let you leave to, to yes, give birth? Yes, for my maternity leave, they said only 20 days. And I couldn't get the help for my son. So then I thought of resigning the job and I resigned and went to India. There I was with my son for four and a half months and I left for Kuwait. We worked for two years in the American Mission Hospital in Kuwait and somebody suggested to us that the Kuwait government was setting up a mission in the Trucial States, as this place was called. And we accepted the offer. Things were rather primitive when we first came. Where is Dubai? I did not know where was Dubai. Dubai wasn't anything, anything at that time. That time. There was no Burj Khalifa, no, no Dubai no, Mall. No, nothing, was, nothing. I mean, not what, even what, roads. There was no airport, no seaport. But there was no road. From Dubai, Sharjah, there was no road. It was just through the sands. Yes. It was a real adventure. I landed in uh, Sharjah. There was Royal Air Force Base. In Sharjah. In Sharjah. So there we landed and they took us to Dubai. Then my director in uh, Kuwait Hospital, he said that you have to work in Dubai. But any one of you can work in Sharjah, we'll give them uh, position in charge. Uh, nobody wanted. Everybody nobody laughed. Wanted to go to uh, all the doctors, three, four, five. There were six doctors. Now nobody is working, and there is a center there. There is one doctor there, and uh, he was an Egyptian doctor, very elderly man. Everybody said that I must be a nurse. I can't be a doctor because I watch that I'll go. And I started. You see going every day there and work till three o'clock. Then again, coming back to Dubai, we stayed in Dubai. Mm -hmm. They gave us accommodation. Okay. And uh, evening, I used to work in the hospital. In Dubai? In Dubai. And then I understand you made house calls by four by four, four through by, the yes. desert dunes. Everything, we, we had to do it because they wanted a lady doctor speaking Arabic. Right. So I started going to the people house and they appreciated my services. What was the most difficult case you ever had? Difficulty was when I had to see a patient with difficult labor and uh, they wouldn't like to go to the hospital. They right. said, oh, last time I delivered very normally and... Uh, they want to give birth uh, They wanted to go home and deliver. I said, no, you can't. So I had to call the police. Did you call the police? Uh, yes. What, what else? What was the other alternative? If they don't listen to you, what else you do? So I used to tell the police that this woman will die if you don't help me. And you convince her husband to go to the hospital in Dubai. Was there ever a scary moment when you were going out to these remote areas? Whenever I went for a visit, I called a woman, you see, to accompany me. I was very safe then. And who inspired you through all of this? Did you have people that you maybe gravitated to that you, for strength and? My work. Just your work? No, nobody. Just the commitment the Appreciation of my work. You know, people liked me and because of my work. Dr. Zulika will have to stop here just for a short break. Stay with us. After this short break, we'll have more of this amazing story. Mm -hmm. 
My wife became immensely popular at that time because there were no qualified lady doctors. Most of the members of the Sheikh's family knew her very intimately and very well. If somebody tells me that you, you go take, take everything and go away to your home country, I won't be able to go. Presented by Nokia, powered by Audi. Around the world, millions of people are switching to Nokia Lumia. For the best smartphone photography in low light. <laughs> for easy wireless charging. And for city lanes to explore the world around them. <laughs> Time to switch. Rainbow Top Gun Season 2 Simple living and high thinking are not just spoken words. Dr. Zulika is the epitome of simplicity and success. Welcome back to Top Guns. We're here with Dr. Zulika. Dr. Zulika, you came here 50 years ago when things were diametrically different than they are today. Things were very different and they started changing after Ittehad, 1971. 1971. And when it started, it started very, very fast. That's when the union, union happened, happened, then happened, it started that changing. It made a lot of difference. They started developing the whole UAE. And you've been here so long, you're actually one of the few doctors who you've delivered three generations. Yes, and I was the one, every night I used to go to people's home with a bag and deliver them it at home. My wife became immensely popular at that time because there were no qualified lady doctors. And her specialty was obstetrics and gynecology. Most of the members of the Sheikh's family knew her very intimately and very well because we were called. A lot of people would come from the desert, from the Bedouins. They also knew her very well. So your roots in the community are so strong. strong. And I guess the rulers, how did they help you get started? I think, did they give you a bit of a push when you opened yes. your first hospital? And Yes, yes, they did. And they gave me the permission to open my own hospital. Mm. But, you know, people said, oh, what is this? You are not going to do anything like this. The rulers will take hold of your hospitals very soon. And I was not deterred because I knew my rulers. Mm. They said that you could, you could call it by your, your, your name because everybody yes. knows you, right? Everybody yeah. knows. Everybody knew me by my name, Zuleika. How many hospitals have you opened now? Now I have one in Sharjah, one in Dubai, and one I'm trying to go in India. Do you remember the first time you saved someone's life? Or? You know, people used to come to me for everything. Mm. So I used to be instrumental in healing them, getting them all right. It's a very great feeling, you see, in the end. And how many babies have you delivered? I, 15,000. You also had a hit and run accident, a in brutal 19, car crash that you bumped In 1992, on. end in December. After a month, I started the hospital. Both my legs, my spine, my ribs, everything was fractured. 
only thing was my brain was all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. And today there's no question why you're one of the voted the most uh, powerful Indian woman in the Middle East. So you definitely are a I symbol of strength. I overcame that. So now, now the UAE is your home. There's, yes, uh, no. yes. I, I tell everyone, uh, if somebody tells me that you, you go take, take everything and go away to your, ho to your home country, I won't be able to go. When you grow up in a happy home, then you can live in any place. There were never any issues in the UAE. Uh, certainly in Sharjah, which is like a small town, uh, which is where we used to live and we still live there now. So it was very similar to, as you can imagine in India, how you grow up close to your cousins, close to your family. This is the way that I grew up. You see people, they want you and you have to give them the assistance, medical help. So you can't stop it. You have to do everything for them as they are suffering. And while doing that, your drive comes. Presented by Nokia, powered by Audi. Official radio partner Suno 1024 and Super 94.7 FM. Supported by the intelligent SME. Around the world, millions of people are switching to Nokia Lumia. For the best smartphone photography in low light. <laughs> for easy wireless charging. And for city lanes to explore the world around them. <laughs> Time to switch. बहुत लकी है आपको तो सब कुछ बनाना आता है वो तो है पर पापा अगर लड़के वाले मुझे देखने आए तो तो क्या मुझे तो एक कप चाय भी ठीक से बनानी नहीं आती <laughs> एक काम करते हैं चाय से शुरुआत करते हैं <laughs> मेरा एक छोटा सा राज है ताजे दूध से बना रेनबो इवेपोरेटेड मिल्क इसका रिच और क्रीमी टेस्ट चाय में जान डाल दे बाय द वे लड़का कौन है किसी दिन चाय पे बुलाऊंगी रेनबो इवेपोरेटेड मिल्क चाय का परफेक्ट मैच Rainbow Top Gun Season 2 The Zulika hospitals in Dubai and Sharjah are well known as medical institutions that offer the healing touch to patients and value for money. Dr. Zulika, heal the world and make it a better place is a mantra that could fit uh, your life story, isn't it? Yes, I think so. And you've done so much uh, for the community here. Because the time I came, there was no medical help. Mm. I was the first lady doctor working here and I had to look after everything, whatever I did. Mm. And doing so, I kept on doing more and more because the people needed me more. Dr. Zulika, you really started from such a low base, built up hospitals. What is it that really fuels you or drives you or pulls your heartstrings to give you so much energy to give so much to society? When you see people, they want you and you have to give them the assistance, medical help. So you can't stop it. You have to do everything for them as they are suffering. And while doing that, your drive comes. She set an example for me that, you know, you work, whatever it is you want to do, uh, whether you work at home or you work at your marriage or you work at your career, you work for your children. If you work, you will get where you want to go. You will not get there tomorrow. You will not get there day after. But at some point, you know, when you look back, you will see a systematic sense of achievement. 
we've done so much uh, in the last 50 years and there's very few people who have even been practicing uh, medicine for as long. I mean, I think you've delivered three generations of uh, families of their babies. Is there anything left on your to-do list? Um, do you have a so-called bucket list that you're, that you're working on? No, I, I want to do uh, social work, which I'm doing now also. I'm running a school in India and I want the empowerment of women in India because they need it. And I want to continue this, working on this project of mine, making hospitals. So Dr. Zulika is building hospitals, emancipation of women, working on social projects, so much energy. Do you have a secret hideaway or somewhere, that, something that you do to replenish your energy stores? I do walk, I swim, and I keep myself healthy. It's amazing walking on the beach. I love walking on the beach. Yes, every single day. And I've been doing this for 20 years now. Well, I can only say, looking back at the progress that either she or the institution or my daughter who is helping her, one of these factors has made things grow beyond all reason. We've given with so much of freedom by Dr. Zulekha that you can take your decisions, you can do what you want, but the end result is that patient should be happy. The end result should be like the experience the whole experience should be very good at Zuleika whenever patient comes and goes. So that's the aim we work with and that's where we are given with the freedom. Dr. Zuleika, you've accomplished so much in the last 50 years. Uh, you recognize as the most powerful Indian woman in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. And I understand that uh, on International Women's Day you'll be honored again for all of your contributions which you've made. What is your advice to the next generation of women coming up? I tell every woman that they can do whatever they want to do. You have to pursue it with your hard work and pers persistence. And have confidence in themselves that they can c continue to do anything what they want. You definitely are a testament to that. Yes. So. I am and I'm telling everyone what I did, every, uh, everyone can do it. Well, thank you so much for being on this episode of Top Guns. It's been unbelievable listening and learning about your story. Thank you very much. It's inspiring to see the common threads of the Indian diaspora. Focus, hard work, determination, the touchstones of any success story. Well, that's it for this show. I look forward to seeing you all next week. This is your host, Shane Phillips, signing off. People gave me the strength, the appreciation of my work, and the way I understood their, their ailments. That gave me the inspiration that I can do so much for them. I feel very nice what you have done. You have helped the people. What more do you want? Even when I'm crossing the road, when I go for to walk on the beach, people stand for me. They stand and they let me pass. What else you want? <laughs>